Hello everybody, welcome to Chautauqua Park in beautiful Boulder, Colorado. I'm Andrew Hyde with Techstars and we are starting off a video series. So the goal of the video series is to both introduce you to Techstars and to Boulder. Um, we'll also be in Boston this summer because Techstars is now in Boston. So this week we have an exciting show with four segments. First one being Brad Feld and Phil Weiser at CU. They did an hour lecture one-on-one -on -one with Brad Feld asking about the entrepreneurship ecosystem. We have a segment about Colorado and Techstars. Uh, the second segment is Brad Bernthal from CU, who's talking about what CU is doing to kind of fit into the Boulder ecosystem as far as entrepreneurship goes. Um, lots of startup activity here, lots of energy at the, the university. It's really exciting to see. Third up, we have Julie Penner, a student at CU, talking about just how accessible the Boulder community is. And finally, we have the two co-founders of 2007 Techstars Team Event View, talking about some tips for people coming out to Boulder or people looking at Boulder. So enjoy the show. To get back to your uh, ecosystem vertical, uh, you made the case that there, uh, from a food chain perspective, there's, there's, a, well, there's a mini mecca. You've got a lot of entrepreneurs kind of coming to Boulder or coming out of the university. But from the from the top of the food chain, those those successful entrepreneurs that you know have the millions of dollars that they can write the hundred thousand dollar checks that you say are so important from the perspective of staying engaged and being curious. Um, are those, do you just luck into those people from a community perspective, no. or are they developed? They're I mean, developed, they're developed. So a couple things, right? One, one thing to do to go find them is go to techstars.org and click on the mentors button, and you'll see some subset of them. And having the Techstars program here, you know, that David, David Cohen created, is one of the drivers of that engagement. That list of mentors that are local mentors, and also some that are not local, but have an affinity for and attraction to Boulder and want to be participants in Boulder uh, and, and around these things, that's one piece. The next piece is leadership, right? I'll give a good example that's a separate case. When Amy and I do a lot of philanthropic stuff, when we first started giving philanthropically and didn't really understand how to think about it, we gave anonymously. Because we really were kind of, sh shy is the wrong word, we just didn't really, you know, we didn't want to brag about it. We kind of felt like it was obnoxious or something. It, it, like we had a, a mental model about it that was kind of messed up. And somebody said to me, you know, you're a young guy, and one of the problems with young people is that they don't give philanthropically back to their community. And it would be really helpful if you guys put your name on stuff because it would be good leadership for other people would look at it and say, oh, they're doing it. And yeah, there's occasionally you bump into the ego dynamic around it. But most people who know us say, yeah, it's just good leadership. And what's happened is it's created some of that dynamic. It's the same thing in the entrepreneurial ecosystem. If you have some people who are visible leaders at that level, it attracts others. Because people say, oh, this is interesting. I want to go be involved in this sort of thing. And that takes a long time to develop, though. That's not a, OK, we're doing a press release, and now anybody that's made $50 million has to contribute back to the entrepreneurial ecosystem. It so, builds over time. So then to follow up, where is Boulder on that kind of time continuum? Um, I think we are in a fantastic place today and possibly one of the best and most vibrant communities for that in the country. And I think that's one of the reasons why in this sort of software internet arena we're getting national notoriety and recognition around some of the stuff that's coming out of here. My name is Brad Bernthal. I'm an associate clinical professor here at the law school. We're doing this interview. I also direct the entrepreneurial initiatives at the Silicon Flatiron Center, which is oriented around information technology. And obviously my job is to try to catalyze entrepreneurship. We're trying to be a nerve center for uh, entrepreneurship around information technology in Boulder and along the Front Range. This is a big week. We are in day three of five of Entrepreneurship Week. If I look haggard, I am. But that's a good problem to have. Last night we had our entrepreneurial mashup in which we had 250 people entrepreneurs all the way from people here at the university, college, first-time entrepreneurs, to people who have made their dime and are looking to get back in. We honored Brad Feld, who's somewhat of a local legend in the area, with a Lifetime Achievement Award, despite the fact that he is about 45 years old or so, and he dubbed it a Midlife Achievement Award, which is probably more accurate. Tomorrow night is going to be our annual conference, an academic conference, in which we're going to be talking about the entrepreneurial ecosystem. And um, I think that for this forum, it's appropriate to reflect on what is probably unique about Boulder and makes it a pretty cool place that if you're looking to start a business 
or roll out an innovative idea, why might this be a good scene? I think there, there's two reasons, one of which is self-serving and one of which is just a general observation. The self-serving one is we're doing a better job here at the University of Colorado of connecting up the surrounding entrepreneurial ecosystem to the university. If you look at every great entrepreneurial network, it's backed by a major research university that's actively engaged, throwing off ideas, throwing off talent. I'm not sure that we're there yet with respect to the University of Colorado, but I think we're getting closer. And second, the clear distinctive trait of entrepreneurship around Boulder and along the Front Range is a system that is unbelievably collaboratory in its outlook. So once you start a business here, good chance that people will not look at you so much as a competitor as how can we help make you a success. And the metaphor or analogy that I've been thinking a lot about lately is our entrepreneurship scene here, not entirely unlike West 52nd Street in New York circa 1930, where the jazz scene was taking off. And you had people who were looking to do jazz going to that scene as a mecca to learn the craft, to sit in on each other's sessions, to riff off of one another, to improvise. And I think that is the kind of thing you see around Boulder, which makes it distinct. Hi, I'm Julie Penner, and I'm an MBA JD student here at CU Boulder. And one of the things that I really like about Boulder is how easy it is to meet people. There are events every night of the week that you can really walk up to anybody and say hello and they will tell you what they're doing and that's a great way to get involved in the entrepreneurial community. Everybody's super accessible. I'm Rob Johnson. Um, I'm the co-founder of EventView. And I'm Josh. So Andrew's asked us to tell you a little bit about what it was like when we got picked uh, to participate in T Techstars 2007. And I guess I'd start off by saying um, we were super intimidated. We didn't know what to expect. Um, we were totally blown away by the talent and skills of the other people in the other companies. Yeah, it was, it was awesome. We, we didn't really know what we were getting ourselves into. Um, and I think we would have been even more intimidated if we'd known, exact, you know, if we'd known anything about it. Um, but it, it turned out great. We got to uh, become really close to our Techstars company, still keeping in touch with, with all of them. Hey, we're Rob and Josh, and you've just been talking to EventView. Thanks for tuning in everybody, this is Andrew Hyde, and uh, you've just watched Techstars TV. We're going to be doing these weekly, so hope you enjoy them. If you have any uh, concerns, questions, or suggestions, please email me at andrew at techstars.org. Thanks. Ah! Beautiful. Hey, it finally worked. <laughs>